Hi, this is Cam from CraftyCAD.com and this will be a quick video tutorial just showing the basic uses of blocks. Blocks can be quite handy when we've got a bunch of detail items that need to be repeated or if we want a detail item that we've got multiple copies of that we just want to change once and have that change um, update all of the copies of that reference. So I'll just start a normal drawing and we'll start by opening up the blocks menu so under tools palettes there's blocks or you can also press control 7 to open this up now you can see this template already had a couple of blocks in it um, it has some title block blocks which we can insert into paper space and fill out with our uh, title block information um, you can download blocks or create your own block libraries so and link that in with a, a template so when you open a template you have all the blocks you need to use um, for this exercise let's just assume we're working on a little steel plate and we want four holes in it that we want to be blocks so we can change the size of one and it will change the size of all of them so we'll say 20 mil holes and we'll put a little cross in the middle of it too so under this menu item if we click and hold we get a bunch of different point styles so we'll just stick a cross in there snap it to the center of the circle if I double click on that I can change the size to be 25 so that'll be like our bolt hole now I'm going to have four of these in this plate so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the items just drawn go down to the command line and type in block I'm going to call this block bolt hole and I'm going to make sure insert at current location is ticked. If that's not ticked, it'll actually delete what we've drawn there and just store it in the block library. With that ticked, it leaves a copy of the block there as well. So hit OK, and you can see bolt holes appeared in our blocks library palette. So I'm going to just drag and drop these from the blocks palette onto my drawing. And you can see each of these comes in as a block. They're not individual elements anymore, so I can't say delete the cross, it's, it's part of the block. Um, to e edit this, edit the block to change the size of the holes or to delete the cross, we go over to our blocks palette, click on the block hole and we've got this blue icon EC, edit content. I click on that and that opens up the block in the block editor. So within the block editor we're back to having these as individual elements. So I can delete the cross and I can also scale the hole up by two to make it a, a 40 millimeter diameter hole. I'm going to hit the green tick and you can see all of those holes have now changed. They're 40 millimeter diameter and the cross is gone. Um, so that's a very basic use of blocks. You can also nest blocks. So if I wanted to have many copies of this plate in my drawing, I can just select the whole lot, type in block again, and I'll call this one plate with holes. So you can see that's appeared there. I'll make lots of copies of this. And again, if I edit this bolt hole block, put that cross back in. Hit the green tick. You can see all of those blocks have been updated. So it's quite a powerful tool when you've got repeating detail items. So I hope this has been helpful. Be sure to check out the website at www.craftycad.com for more video tutorials. Um, and stay tuned, there'll be quite a few more coming in this new year.